What's going on guys? Today we're talking about a very interesting topic, something I haven't even considered the slightest until my friend Kibby Thickfat Deluxe Special Salisbury Style brought it up, okay? He was just brainstorming ideas for something I can make for a new video and he came up with something I consider very interesting. So what we're going to be talking about today is Peckham's, and more specifically, how he is going to be affected in the story by the full moon, okay? There's been so much hype around the Minx, around Carrot, after we've seen what she is capable of doing with the full moon, and now we have to think what is going to happen to Peckham's, okay? There's no way that he's not going to be affected by this at all, okay? Whether or not he's not able to control it, or he is. What is he going to do? When is he going to come back into the story? When he first disappeared, it was kind of mentioned in the story, but I didn't really care because at that point, really, who cared about Peckham's? Who thought he was an interesting character in the slightest? In fact, I didn't really like him at all, but that's not really the point. The point is I kind of just wrote it off like, all right, well, he's gone and didn't really expect anything. But now that we have the whole full moon thing, honestly, I would be surprised if he didn't make some huge impact in the story, okay? For one thing, it does make sense that maybe Whole Cake Island is going to be a little bit longer than expected since Oda did say Wano is not going to be for a long time. So we do have that. And I think it would make perfect sense if he did come back into the story in some spectacular way, since for one thing, Oda doesn't just write off characters like this, okay? He doesn't let everyone take note of the fact that he is now missing. They're like, oh man, well where did Peckham's go? We haven't seen him in a while. And then just, he's gone, okay? He's not coming back. No, he's not going to come back in some lame way either like, oh, uh, here I am guys, what's going on? No. He's going to make some huge impact in the story for sure. I, I can already see it. Now, I will admit, when I was first told this theory by Kibby Thick, I was a little bit confused, okay? Because I was like, well, even if he does come back into the story, what would he really do that would be so important? Because we know for a fact that he's not going to betray Big Mom, okay? We've already been shown that that's just not gonna happen. But, Kibby did bring up a very interesting point, okay? Pedro's death could have a very significant effect on Peckham's, okay? We already saw how he reacted to Kaido invading the Minx. He was very upset by that. He was pretty much traumatized, really, and then when he found out that the Straw Hats were the saviors, he could not stop thanking them. He even went to the point where he kind of semi-betrayed Big Mom. I mean, it wasn't like a direct violation, but it kind of was since he brought over the enemies which have now caused all of these massive issues like he straight up brought them there you know he, he even like was he snuck them in I, and that's straight up what happened that's kind of a direct betrayal really so i think it's completely fair to say that once peckham's finds out that pedro's dead and this is pretty much all the big mom pirates fault like they pursued the straw hats and that's what forced pedro to be put in a situation where he had to kill himself i think he's going to be very upset i think it would be not far-fetched at all for him to betray the Big Mom Pirates. In fact, I would say I'd be surprised if it didn't happen, really. Not to mention, we also have the fact that he is a lion mink, so that could potentially modify his personality in some kind of way when the full moon takes effect. I'm sure that he is <laughs> like very aggressive and hostile under these kinds of conditions. So if he is actually able to use this ability, you know, as well as Carrot is, or at least close to that, then I could see him dealing some serious damage and really putting a dent in the Big Mom Pirates. Now, I think at the point that we assume that this is going to happen, he's going to use his moon form and deal some kind of damage to the Big Mom Pirates, I think there's two things that could really happen. One being either that he ends up just escaping with the Straw Hats, you know, maybe they go to Reverie or Wano or wherever they're going next, and he just tags along. He's like, oh yeah, you know, I'll help you out on your next journey. I think I owe you one. I'm not personally a fan of that. I could see it happening, but... I think it'd be a little lame, you know? I mean, I feel like this has already happened multiple times to the Minx now with Pedro, with Carrot. They're not really joining the crew, but they're just, like, joining along, and they're all really powerful, too. Like, it just... I don't know. It seems kind of like a ridiculous plot device. But, uh, while I could see that happening, I would much prefer the idea that... And again, I, you know, it is getting a little redundant, I guess, at this point, if it did happen. But I would like the idea of him sacrificing himself in some way. Especially since he has claimed to be in debt to the Straw Hats so many times now. So there's three places I could really see this happening, some more likely than others. So the first one, and the one I think is the least likely, unfortunately, even though it is the one that I most want to happen, I just don't think it will, is if maybe, you know, Luffy and Katakuri was taking place outside of Mirror World at some point, which again is already an unlikelihood. 
but then he comes and you know Luffy is having a hard time it's pretty clear that while he can match up pretty well against Katakuri he'll never actually be able to defeat them and Peckham's comes in super power mode maybe not as strong as either of them but he is you know like Luffy enough to hold Katakuri off for some time and he's like yo you know Luffy get out of here I owe you one I'm gonna hold him off your crew needs you right now you need to go and this is I actually think this is the best thing that could happen because for one thing I, I mean, I've said it a million times in my videos now, I don't really see how Luffy could beat Katakuri without just more plot armor than we've ever seen in the entire series, okay? And that's saying quite a bit, especially in this arc alone. I, I just don't really see how he could beat Katakuri, it doesn't make any sense, especially since he couldn't beat Cracker. Granted, he was completely countered by Cracker, but that's not the point at all. He wasn't even close to beating Cracker, where Katakuri he seems to just be doing way too well against. I would be very disappointed if he's actually able to beat Katakuri without some very good explanation, which we just have not really seen. I don't really see how it's possible for that. However, if this was to happen, I would be totally okay with it, alright? I mean, it's not like he beat Katakuri, which is a good thing. It's just Peckham's comes in. He's been gone for the entire arc. It's been like, it's it's been waiting for this. It's been waiting for Peckham to come back and make some kind of contribution. If he's able to just hold off Katakuri, sacrifice himself, he goes down like a man. It's a great way to go down. We've seen a lot of deaths this arc. It's not that far-fetched. I, I, I just think it would be fantastic. I think it'd be a great way to remove Katakuri from the picture without Luffy actually having to defeat him. The really big issue here is that Luffy just wouldn't accept that. He would not allow someone to take his fight away from him, especially this one specifically, because he, you know, he wants this fight. He wants to get stronger by beating Katakuri. So yeah, while I think that is the most unlikely of the three scenarios I'm gonna be talking about here, it is the one I by far would prefer the most. I think it'd be fantastic. I really hope Oda does consider doing it. So second, I could see him somehow getting involved with the whole Big Mom situation that Sanji is taking care of right now. So the way I see it, and how I've talked a lot with my friends recently, is it doesn't really make sense if Sanji's just gonna make this cake, it's gonna be all prepared, he's gonna give it to Big Mom, and she's just gonna eat it and it's all gonna be over, okay? Everyone can go home. I mean, while, okay, if there's any emperor that this would work for, it would be Big Mom. It's like, really? I mean, really? That's how we're gonna end an emperor arc. One of the Yonko, okay, are taken down by a cake. Dude, Come on. Seriously, I mean, that would just be so lame, you know. I've been disappointed a few times in One Piece, okay? I'm not gonna say it's the most perfect series of all time, but this would just be on such a different level than what I'm used to in One Piece. Like, th this would be just sad, okay? I would be, like, <laughs> re really, like, th this is how we're gonna end this arc. This is the arc that I went into with the highest expectations of the entire series. That's even including Dress Rosa, which I consider my favorite arc. That's including Water 7, the only one that I think can compete with Dress Rosa, okay? I thought that this would definitely be able to compete, but it's been pretty disappointing so far, and this would just be the most disappointing ending you could possibly imagine. I mean, seriously, Big Mom is stopped just because Sanji bakes her a cake. Maybe it's, you know, it's Sanji's cake, so it's gonna be the most delicious cake ever, but come on please like i just would not want that to happen so yeah i'm not a fan of this idea at all i do think it is very possible i think it's slightly more likely than stopping the katakuri situation but if it happened i would just be amazingly disappointed so i'm really hoping this isn't how it goes down and the last scenario i've come up with the one i consider the most likely and i, I really don't have a problem with like i do for the second one i think that peckham's could come to the situation where carrot has taken control where the sunny is all of that i think he might just come in and there could be a lot of different reasons for him to want Care to get out of there, okay? One reason I could propose is maybe there is a limit to how long you can use the moon form, okay? Whatever, I mean, uh, we, we don't have even close to enough information as of this point to make speculations like that, but I think there's some kind of reason that Peckham is going to want Kara to get out of there. Whether it's just not he doesn't want her to die, you know, he's prepared to make a sacrifice, so he wants her out of there. He wants to save the Straw Hats, okay? These are the ones that are in the most immediate danger, in my opinion. So he could just come in there, go into his moon form, just hold all of them off for a while. I mean, with the damage we've seen Carrot able to do, I don't know if Peckham's is stronger than her or not, but he's pretty well respected in the Big Mom crew, so he's got to be decently powerful without his moon form. And if he is able to use it, I can't even imagine the power levels we're going to see, okay? It's probably unbelievable. 
I mean, I'm probably going to have a lot of people seriously upset with me saying this, but, and this is complete speculation, just so you know, like, this isn't me saying, oh, yep, this is how it is, no, just, just based on what we've seen, you know, in the last chapter, all the hype we've gotten around this, I think that there's a good chance that in moon form, Carrot might be Monster Trio level, I... Again, I'm probably gonna get shit on for this, but I really would not be surprised if she's slightly above it. I was kind of thinking at one point in my mind, maybe she was gonna be the one to stop the Katakuri battle. I, I really think that she is very powerful in this form, and that's why I'm thinking Peckhams could just be a complete monster in it. So yeah, all three scenarios are quite interesting. I'd be pretty disappointed by the second one, and I would love to see the first one I shared. I would love to see Peckham's come in and stop Katakuri, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think the last one is what's going to happen. Unfortunately, we did not get a chapter this week, so we are going to have to wait on that. I don't even think... I think the next one we get is actually on Christmas. We might get some of the, like, you know, illegal scans or whatever beforehand, but I think the official release is on the 25th of December, so that is quite unfortunate, and I doubt we'll even get any, you know, Peckham's action that soon. Well, right now, it seems to be focused on Carrot, so it's going to be a little while till we have that, but... Yeah, I mean, we definitely got a lot to look forward to in the end of this arc. So I think for now, that pretty much wraps up this topic. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about this video. If it's totally whack, it's just way too ridiculous. There's no way Peckham's is also going to be using Moon Form. If we didn't see Pedro use it, then not everyone's going to be using it, okay? Not all the minks are going to be using it. It's just Carrot. This is specific to her for now. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, also don't forget to leave me comments letting me know future ideas you would like to see on this channel, theories, discussions, whatever. Remember to hit the notification button right next to the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. It will notify you of both when any of my videos go up pretty much immediately, as well as when I'm live streaming. You don't necessarily get the notification if you're just subscribed to me when I live stream. That's when we have a lot of fun. I play video games while discussing One Piece. It's a great time. I like to see a lot more people in there. So yeah, with that all being said, I hope you guys have an excellent day, an excellent finish to your weekend, and I'll talk to you guys on Wednesday.